Welcome back, folks, to more Crushes Movies and Videos. Movies, Games, and Videos channel. Welcome back. This time, we're looking at Mark DeCascos. There's a few movies I own. Quite a few, actually, in this one. So, another pretty interesting update. That's something I've not been quite sure lately. So, we move along. Now, those ones are saved to last. So they are pretty, some of my favorite ones. That one. They get the stink out of the way of that little on, I think. Anyway, the first role he's appeared in, well, actually, was an episode of The Flash, the original TV series of The Flash. I'll talk more about this series when I actually watched it again. He appeared in a small episode of The Flash. And then he appeared up again in The Flash, who could say. <laughs> introducing Mark DeCasco in his first major type role as an opposite, as a villain opposite. The, uh, then opposite David Bradley's hero in this movie, American Samurai. Was it David Bradley? That's the evil samurai. He may have been David Bradley's brother in the movie. Can't quite remember now. This film has been a while since I watched The American Samurai. Maybe it's time to revisit this movie. Be a martial arts hidden gem. I've not seen for a while. I know he turns up in China Strike Force. I've seen a pile of other martial artists and looks like some rappers too. I don't even know if I actually ever watched this film. I can vaguely remember anything. I can't remember if I ever watched it. It turns up in an episode of Mortal Kombat Legacy. I believe he plays Kung Lao, actually one of the main characters. That's pretty cool. I'll have to check that out. Mortal Kombat Legacy. Short lived series of Mortal Kombat, unfortunately. I gotta say the greatest out in the Mortal Kombat is gonna be the first movie and Mortal Kombat Conquest and we'll talk about them another day. And now he turns up opposite Jet Lai and DMX as a villain in Kriegel to the Grave. I can vaguely remember if I ever watched this film. It may have been a long time ago since I had this DVD for years. But I can vaguely remember anything about it. Is it worth a watch again? Maybe or maybe not. It turns out my little backup I got of this film. I used to own it on Blu-ray. Uh, I used to own it on DVD, actually, in Kickbox of Five. I didn't know what the first film is. also got Crash Landing on this one. Kickbox of Five, it turns out my net. There's one of these in the more like This one of his most recent films I own. Ultimate Justice. And you'll start alongside Matthias Hughes. Mike Moore, Brandon something, I don't know. But Matthias Hughes pops up in this one too. And Matthias Hughes is your main villain, unless you unfortunately he's not in this one. But Mark DeCascos is a good lead in this film, not a bad film for Mark DeCascos' recent film. I have not owned the two recent ones of the late though, the last year or so. I'll have to get them from the collection at some point. <coughs> This movie by her, I can't pronounce the name, so I'm gonna butcher it, but Roger Hager of Hitchhiker Fame's in this one. In this movie. I haven't watched that film. Excuse me a second, folks. <coughs> oh, you know. It's not Operation Rogue. Roger Corman, it's not Mason Rogue actually. So Roger Corman out in my uh, all time movie. And then the Omega, or the Omega, or something that's a zombie type take movie. I think he's fighting an interesting sci fi film, that one. Back to the war, to, uh, war zone now, this one. It's Roger Hager again, also in this one. The Hunt for Eagle One. Then they're watching these when I had them on DVD, and they were pretty entertaining watches. Along with this one as well. The Hunt for Eagle 1 uh, Crash Point, which is the sequel. So there's one thing I cannot watch in a long time. I can't remember if I watch this one or not. Only the Brave? No, it's not Only the Strong. We'll get to that one later. We have Only the Brave. Things are going wrong today. <coughs> Let me have some more with... Well, let's get the stinker out of the way as I like to call this one. It's Double Dragon. Is it a stinker or is it watchable? I don't know. I have not seen this for a long time since I upgraded the Blu-ray. 
which is normally one I just had to do for the collection. And it's an MBD Rewind one, so also covers the MBD Rewind collection as well as my uh, Mark DeCascos. Well, he plays one of the bitty old Jimmy, I can't remember now. He plays one of the brothers in Double Dragon, the movie. Also features Terminator 2's Robert Patrick as the main villain. Oh man, this is going to be fun. <laughs> I'll have to talk about that when we do video game movies. Or video game movies and series, I should say. But here we go. <laughs> also in uh, the movie Crying Freeman. A lot of people rave about this one as one of Mark Castle's best roles. Vaguely remember watching it, but I assume it's one of his better night wins. As well as Dry, which is getting an MBD Rewind release coming up soon. So that's definitely the one I'm going to start upgrade on. Dry. The Armageddon. This movie alongside Roger Hanger again. Oh my god, he loves like them with that guy, doesn't he? This should be a fun movie. In Sanctuary. Another one of his recommended movies on other channels. Another one of his great films, I believe. No Code of Conduct. Stars alongside Martin and Charlie Sheen. And this one. He appears in the movie I also own only on video. The Base, another war type movie with a soldier. This one is actually an action packed movie. I remember briefly watching this film. Not been, it's been a while since I watched that one, though. I forget I own that sometimes. There's also a the series, The Crow, the TV series, Stay Away to Heaven, The Crow the series. Follow up on the movies. Random the original Crow, which I own, actually. As well as the other two TV movies. The Crow, Stay Away to Heaven, I'm going to have to watch that one at some point. It appears in this movie, which I thought was one of his best films I've ever watched. Instant to Kill. Really, really good. Mark the Cascos movie. Actually, I can't even open this down case. Never mind. We have Instant to Kill, a really good film there. The only way I could get that DVD is quite hard to find that one. We got this one on Blu ray. Sabotage. Another really good film. Shang Tsung turns out, I believe, this one, isn't he? I think the actor Shang Tsung turns out, I'm not sure. No, I don't think he does, no. But it's a really good film nonetheless. Another war type movie. And this one really kicked off his career. Only the Strong. A really cracking, underrated martial arts movie gem. I'm gonna check that one out in the only old video. If somebody wants it, let me know. We do it for a good price. As they've upgraded to DVD at long last. Only the Strong on DVD. Pretty good American Blu-ray uh, DVD release. That's going to do it for this short update of Mark DeCascos. Thanks for watching.